after your performance against Italy, will you go to uh, Paris in, in a good frame of mind? Um, yeah, you know, definitely I think so. Um, it was obviously good to kind of get that uh, return to the Six Nations and, and, and you know, in a good way and, and a good way to start it. Um, but, you know, we also are <clears throat> very aware of the fact that, that, you know, France away is a very different base to, to Italy at home and, and we're going to have to go over there and give them the respect that they deserve in that in that sense. But, um, but yeah, um, you know, being able to kind of score a few tries, you know, play some good attacking rugby, it definitely goes a long way to kind of building confidence for this week. It is a different beast, as you mentioned there. We would have asked Irish teams in the past about the fear factor going to Paris. Is that there in this Irish team? Um, <clears throat> yeah, look, I think, I don't know whether fear factor is the correct, correct term. You know, we definitely respect them and, and we respect the, you know, the ability with which they can play. Um, but, you know, at the same time, uh, like we've had a, a had a number of good performances against France over the last few years and, and we've got probably, you know, a, a good bit of return return out of them uh, in the last couple of years. So, so yeah, we are quite, we're quite confident, um, you know, when it comes to, to playing them as a team. But, you know, they're also in very good form at the moment. You know they obviously beat Wales well there um, at the weekend, and and the, you know they've, they're they're a different team to the, than they have been in the past. Jacob, you created and scored some really good tries as a, as a team last weekend against Italy. Um, do you feel like there's still a lot more left in your locker in terms of what you need to do this weekend? Yeah, definitely. You know, obviously we were happy with with the way in which the game went, but um, you know I think as a team, uh, you know and and. Um, our ability to attack, I think we can definitely go to an, another level, and and we probably will have to um, this weekend. You know, um, realistically, we want to be able to keep the the game and and the Six Nations in our control, which you know means looking at a bonus point away to France. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> you know, um, we were we were happy with the way in which we went, but there's definitely you know more we can work on and and, and a, a further step to take. You have played on the wing and scored a number of tries in that position. Can, can you just talk about Hugo Keenan? You you know trained with him for a long period of time over the last couple of weeks, and his performance last week and what you thought of him. Yeah, I feel like he was maybe still in a few more tries in the eleven jersey, like. But uh, <clears throat> now, nah, like, you know, Hugo's work rate uh, is is phenomenal, and 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 you know he he showed that in the game. Um, you know, for the for the disallowed try, you know, if you watch, if you kind of player Cam Hemi, he chases a kick. Um, you know, 100% sprints back to when they kick it and then realises whenever the line breaks made that he's on and he turns and sprints back again, you know, and, and you know, people would look at that and say, oh, he's in the right place at the right time. But if you look at the work he's done leading up to that point, um, you know, it's, it's really, really impressive. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, he's not just a hard worker. Like, he obviously, uh, you know, he's a, he's a really strong finisher and, uh, you know, he showed that in his first try. Um you know, and and then again, his play his work rate and, and and his pace as well in the third try. So, yeah, like you know, training with him has been really good. He's he's a really hard worker. Um, you know, on and off the pitch, and um, I've been really impressed with the way that he's he's committed to the team and and committed to training. Hi, Jacob. Hope you're well. Um, I just wonder what you thought of your first game at fullback for Ireland, and what you what more you would like to see from yourself this week. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. So I did. Um, you know, I felt like I was able to um, to kind of put my mark on the game, uh, which I was pretty pleased with. But uh, you know, like it's 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 my first game, like you said, in that position, and and um, you know, there's there's going to be things to tidy up. Like I think, um, you know, my backfield coverage could be a bit better, and and probably making <laughs> the right decision. Uh, you know, when I'm kicking a few times. Um, but you know, outside of that, I was pretty pleased with it, and there's. You know, there's a certain, there's a, a few things that that you know maybe I noticed that that the general public don't notice that I want to work on. But uh, but yeah, you know, overall I'm pretty happy with it. And having enjoyed so much success in 2018, how much do you want to to do it again this weekend? You know, and win win the championship. <clears throat> um, to be honest, like I think you know wanting to win this championship, it, it probably it doesn't really have anything to do with 2018, if that makes sense. Like. You know, every time you step on the pitch, first of all, you want to win the game. It doesn't matter if it's, <clears throat> you know, a league game in the middle of the season for Ulster, or if it's a, you know, um, like a grand final week in in the Six Nations. Um, you know, every time you step on the pitch, you want to win, and and yeah, like obviously, I want to add as many, you know, tr trophies and as much silverware to to my cabinet as as I, as I possibly can. So, 
yeah, um, I'm definitely going out there with the expectation that, that I want to put in a performance that, that will ultimately get us a bit of silverware. Thank you. You're pretty new to the 15 shirt in international terms. Do you think proud to test you? Um, <clears throat> yeah, obviously looking at the way they play. <clears throat> sorry. Obviously looking at the way they play, they, they have a very... Um, very good kicking game, you know. They've uh, they scored a number of tries off uh, off their, those contestable kicks, and and you know, it's cleaning up the scraps. They make a bit of a mess of it at the back. So, yeah, I think that'll be a big challenge for me uh, going into this week. Is just you know, dealing with those um, kicks in the air and and dealing with their kicking game, and you know, and trying to just keep it as tidy as possible at the back, um, because those are the kind of opportunities that they live off. Um, outside of that, um. You know, I think they pose. They don't necessarily pose a massive threat. You know, just for me personally, but for us as a team, and um, you know, we're going to have to make sure that we are switched on the entire time. Um, you know, the entire time we're on the pitch, because um, they're you know they're masters at, at creating something out of nothing and, and scoring tries off off the back of plays where you think that you have them pretty much shut down, and all of a sudden, you know, they throw a throw a great offload and, and they're 80, 90 meters down the pitch. Can it be a quick word on Rob Herring, a player who's said to be pretty patient in an Ulster shirt and an Ireland shirt? What's he bring to the team? Yeah, look, Rob's, you know, <laughs> like you said, he's had to be pretty patient. Um, you know, I think he, like when you say that, um, you know, you, you, you feel like he's maybe somebody that doesn't have that much experience. But, you know, when you look at the amount of Ulster caps he's amassed, I think it's 180, 190 maybe, um, you know, at the age of like 20, geez, he might be annoyed at me, but I'm going to say 28 or 29. Um, you know that's a really that's a really impressive amount of caps, and he's and he's actually a very very experienced player. Um, what he brings to the side is is a serious uh, physicality and and work rate. Um, you know you see that the kind of choke tackle he, he made on the um, off the restart against Italy, and like that's the kind of thing that, that that puts him in the team and and you know makes him a very special player. So you know it's good it's good that he's starting to get the recognition that he that he's deserved for a long time and. Uh, yeah, he's uh, he's been exciting to play with, um, for the last few years. Jacob, how's it going? Hey, Pat. Um, just yeah, just googled Rob Herring there. He's thirty, so you did him a favour. Oh, okay, geez, yeah, that was nicer than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was just thinking about that. You know, like you're probably as good at as as somebody as Yuga was with that try of his getting chalked off for, you know, the blocking call. Like, but it is that kind of move and you bursting through the line? Is that does that sum up in a way what you want to bring to that fullback position, that extra dimension you can kind of bring to the position? Yeah, like <clears throat> you know, that's something that that I was really uh, excited at the prospect of playing fullback was that I was able to, you know, probably get a bit more opportunity to run the ball back and and you know, I suppose like in an ideal world, world create a bit of havoc for the defense on the other side of the ball. So yeah, you know, I was pretty pleased. Uh, I was pretty pleased with how that went, and I can still definitely take it to another level. Um, I was, I was a bit frustrated with the call. To be honest, I thought it was a bit harsh, um, because I don't think your man would have got anywhere near me, even if he hadn't run into James Ryan. But sure, that's the that's the nature of the game, and and you know that's why the team was there, I suppose. But uh, but yeah, look, um, it was something that I was really excited about, kind of going into into the the Six Nations and the prospect playing fullback, and um, I was glad I was able to show it at the weekend. Um, but you know, like I've said before, like there's a lot to work on and. Um, and you know, an opportunity to keep growing in the jersey. And were you, um, you know, at that game in twenty eighteen, uh, through all those forty one phases, you were on the pitch at the end, weren't you? For those kind of th- those forty one phases, weren't you? Um, no, that's actually oh. that's the only game I've ever been subbed off for. Uh, so it was, so yeah. maybe Joe knew something that I didn't. Like he thought that yeah. I wouldn't hit any rocks. <laughs> Um, but yeah, just that kind of, I, I, Keen spoke a little bit about it yesterday, just kind of being on the bench with the lads from the front row and just that feeling of, Jesus Christ, you know, we, we've done it, like, uh, c- can you remember back to, like, that feeling that the, when Johnny knocked over that drop goal? <clears throat> um, yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, to be honest, like, I'd say for me, it was a, it was a massive sense of relief. Um, you know, that was my first Six Nations game and, and I didn't, I didn't really want it to end, uh, you know, losing to France and, and, you know, fortunately, like, you know, I'd say that I'd say those kind of forty two or forty one or forty two phases will will go down in Irish rugby history. Um, you know, so uh, I was disappointed that I wasn't probably I didn't get to be a part in the actual phase themselves. But um, you know, it was great to be there and, and be able to witness that. Um, and and you know, I think that 
you know moments like that and, and big plays like that are something that can kick off um you know a, a grand slam moving forward um so yeah it was pretty it was pretty cool to be there and be a part of we'll take the last one Jake, 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 Jake just when you talk about some of the things you have to work on was the, was the last Italy try was that something that maybe was instinctive to you as a winger that you maybe try to pick off a pass or to cover somebody else and maybe something that you will grow into um in the future when you get more used to that position yeah I think that was something that obviously looking back I was a bit frustrated with um you know, in those position, in those positions, it's it's a tricky one, obviously, because you know, the, like I I can see a two on one coming at me, um, and you know, I'm 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 trying to make a play pretty much, um, but uh, yeah, in hindsight, that's probably you know an experience thing where I haven't really been in that position that many times, and and it's probably a better decision to to just try and rush, you know, um, Garbisi and and make him make that pass, and you know, hopefully. You kind of rely on the fact that if, if you put him under pressure with that pass, that he's he's not going to be able to put the other player away. Um, so yeah, definitely, it's something that um, you know I've kind of highlighted from the game and, and something that, that I'm going to work on moving forward.